what is actually wrong with Navic system? For one, it occupies so much of space on your mobile phone. It, yeah. It's uh, application heavy. And then it, uh, it uh, doesn't function properly. I mean, what could be the reasons for its inefficient operation? There's nothing wrong with the IRS. Presently, what has happened is the chips have been developed by a few persons and that has been put into few mobiles only. Like uh, OYO is one in which it's coming up and its accuracy is when we established for a much better standalone accuracy for a standard service was better than two meters for most of the Indian territory. Correct. Uh, so uh, there is nothing wrong with it. It's, uh, the application have not been developed but our industries have not come up to that standard to take up the you know like uh, we have got so many satellites communication satellites so many remote sensing satellites etc in orbit correct and, uh, this josimat incident if you take it see carto said combined with the irnss and if you put uh, some sort of a dgps in that one for irnss you can find out the accuracies in sub meters, sub centimeters also. Sub centimeters, yes. And what they have talked about 5 to 12, they have talk, only compared the, uh, you know, uh, from the NRSC, the uh, photograph they have compared, I mean, what the pictures they have taken it. But if, uh, I mean, GPS enabled or INSS enabled, uh, DGPS is put there and the sensors are put at various places, and we can find out much better not even in centimeters, we can find out in sub centimeters how much it's going down. But these are the applications which should have been developed. Let's put one chip, Qualcomm developed the chip. But if those uh, things stand out, I mean, they have shown a good results. It's not that they have shown better results than the uh, GPS. We have got many advantages of uh, Navic over GPS because it's always seen, the satellites are not changing. The uh, timing accuracies are better, so I don't see a reason why we should not get a better uh, accuracy than GPS. The global positioning satellite system, uh, you know, the standalone what we call CVRA code is not that accurate as our standalone system uh, has got in a particularly in S band. Yes, sir. I think that you are absolutely right. That must be the reason because the. And GPS has got so many uh, uh, restrictions which we don't have it. That's one thing I wanted to tell. GPS only transmits the data and uh, GPS receiver collects the data only from the GPS satellites constellation. Okay? And yes, so th then later on applications are there where you can use the GPS receiver, you can uh, use GIS or anywhere. And GIS is uh, also has got a you know, mapping and remote sensing in that one. And 5G has uh, excellent applications for positioning that also may be brought out. Yeah, I, I wanted to tell because I saw your name, so that's why I didn't speak. So, see this Elon Musk, this uh, Starlink. Yeah. It's in the complete scenario. Now, we don't have to put the satellites in MEO or GEO orbits, like we have put INS in GEO, GPS, etc. are all in MEO. And you, low Earth orbit satellites uh, can give better accuracy because that, uh, you know, that uh, latency is less because our lengths are, I mean, that uh, distance uh, are less, range lengths are less. At the same time, uh, uh, you can uh, see it, one satellite is coming, there is a full constellation, you can see the left, right, all the directions you can see when it covers it. So, and it has, he has proved in Ukraine that he provides a better accuracy than uh, GLONASS. Thank you.